All right, Shalom, this is Gamal Yala out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, now uh, this is a quick lesson. And uh, this is going to be dealing with basically uh, violence is at an all time high. And. Um, you know, there's countless uh, cities that deal with a high upstick of, vi of violence, all right? Uh, murder, um, theft, uh, rape, uh, you name it, all right? Just unruly citizens. And it's mostly Jake, okay? Um, so violence is, an all, is at an all-time high. People have no morals, all right? They don't have any more uh, uh, patience. You know, someone will shoot you over cutting you off in traffic. And it's no longer, you, you know, people are no longer willing to fight you anymore. All right, it's, it's mainly... <laughs> Gunplay. You know, you you look at someone the wrong way and it escalates. I mean, you you could literally take the most minor situation, the min the most minor conflict, and it can turn into something fatal. All because of how all because of how it escalates, and like I said, violence is at an all time high. All right. And, you know, you have a lot of black on black crime, which you blacks are the tribe of Judah of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. And the Is and you Israelites are your so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of the of his children which he shall leave now <clears throat> first of all <clears throat> when you read this whole chapter when you go uh to verse 15 when you skip down to verse 15 it lists uh numerous curses that that the Israelites would would have to go through, okay, as a result of disobeying the Most High. But in this particular verse, it says, "His eyes shall be evil toward his brother," okay. And that's exactly what's going on. All right, our people, they don't have any sense of camaraderie. They don't have any sense of community. All right. It's always just, I'm going to shoot you down. Now you can thank rap culture for that. Okay. Because that's what promotes shooting and killing. Okay. That's, that's the new end thing now. This is uh, John 8 and 44. It says, Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Now, first of all, who is this talking about? This is talking about Israelites. Okay. But it says, Ye are of your father, the devil. Okay. So you Israelites, you're of your, of your father, the devil, which is the devil is the, the physical counterpart of the devil here on earth is Esau, which is the so-called white man. All right. But it says ye are of your father, the devil. So basically you two thirds, the two thirds of your people, you take after your father, which is a so-called white man. OK, he's the one that basically taught you how to how to be this way okay these are all learned behavior you know like i said rap culture 
um, basically just nigga culture. All right. You all got this from the so-called white man. All right. Ghetto, just ghetto culture. All right. Or just you could just call it culture, as as they say nowadays. It's just considered culture. All right. And it says an abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. All right. So that's the nature of Esau. Okay, he's a deceiver. But it says he was a murderer from the beginning. So you you Israelites, like I said, you're taken after your father who was a murderer. Okay? He was a straight up murderer. All right. Let's get this. Um, Cause you ain't supposed to, you know, you know, you ain't supposed to kill your own people. You know, when you think about that, that's totally wicked for you to kill your own people. All right. Because we all work together. We, we are all of the same people. We're all Yashar Allah, princes of the power. All right. First John 2 and 11, but he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knowing not where he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. And you have a lot of Israelites that hate each other. Like when you think about, uh, like I said, going back to rap culture, you have a term which is considered op, O-P-P, -P, which uh, basically means opposition. So you have ops, which are, which is really just a, a new school term for enemies. All right. Our people have enemies. But it says he that hateth his brother is in darkness. And this is a dog eat dog world, man. These niggas hate each other, man. As if. As if, you know, they're they're just of a separate nation. You're of the same people, man. All right. Yeah, how shy. All right, taught us love for our people. Hey, the scriptures say, I came not to condemn. Uh, let's see. Um, let's uh, first John, that's uh, John 3 and 17. John 3 and 17, it says, For the Most High sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay, so he came not to condemn, condemn, all right, but to but to save. So that's the love we have for our people. We want y'all to be saved. Okay, we don't want you to be condemned. But ultimately, we understand that the majority is not going to get it. And they're going to have to get taken out. All right, they're going to have to get taken out. That's why the scriptures say, uh, I shall feel it. Let me see. Second Ezra is nine and eleven. And they that loathe loathe my law while they yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. And that's majority of our people. Pursuing the Zechariah 13 and 8, majority of our people, two thirds specifically, will will die by the sword. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna die. Okay? It says the same must know it. Verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. Okay. So that's how you're gonna get it, is after death by pain. Like I said, majority of our people, they're just gonna have to die, man. All right, because they ain't going to get it. They they are so wrapped up in in this like I said black culture and everyone is everyone has lost their morals, you know. They just need a a, a big reset, man. Okay? That's what our people need is a big reset. All right? 
because there's no fix in this society, man. You're not going to get all the so-called black people together or unify the gangs. And, you know, there's no way that you can get our people to come together. OK, the only way we will come together is through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh That's the only way Israelites will come together in agreement. OK, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Otherwise, it ain't going to happen. The scriptures say, how can two walk lest they be agreed? So that's why you have so much division amongst you Jake's. Okay, because you ain't agreed. You don't have any foundation. You don't have any any anything any any code. Okay? You used to have what's called a street code, but that's done away with. But the real code is is the scriptures, okay? That's what I'm getting at is the whole the, the Holy Bible, the Lord's word is the real the real code, okay, the code of ethics. All right, morality. All right. Knowing what's right, knowing what's wrong. Okay. You don't just kill your brother over nothing, man. All right. Killing your own people. That's wicked. Now, there were times where the Lord were, or would ordain the Israelites, to kill their enemies, which are the other nations. But you don't have any, you can have enemies of, of your own nation of people, but you're supposed to forgive them. All right? You're supposed to forgive your enemies that are, that are of your own nation. You ain't supposed to be killing your, your own people, man. All right? Now, just as a disclaimer, the Lord is going to use the elect to bring judgment, which means that the elect will, once the Lord gives the green light, the elect will will give the green light. I'm sorry, the Lord will give the green light to the elect to kill a lot of you Jakes, man. All right. Because you ain't right and really you deserve death, like we said. This is a uh, Romans three and fifteen. It says, um, "I'll start at fourteen. Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness." Uh, well, when you jump up to verse eleven, it says, "There is none that understandeth; there is none that seeketh after God." Like I said, this is this is a this is a, a violent society, man. Jumping down to first verse four, verse fourteen, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness, their swift their feet are swift sh to shed blood, and that's the nature of you, Jake's man. Like I said, your feet are swift to shed blood. Soon as a nigga look at you the wrong way, or soon as a nigga. You know, uh, offend you in any sort of way, any in any sort of way. You know, something very minor. Okay, you're swift to shed blood. Okay, and that's totally wrong, man. You're supposed to have more patience. All right. When has you know, like, like, when when will you Negroes learn? That you can talk your issues out. Two grown men should be able to discuss issues without resorting to violence. Okay? That should be the proper way of, of dealing with issues. And ultimately, the way we dealt with issues in the ancient world, we had judges. All right? You had a judge. Okay? Well, you know, in, in, the, in the law, I'm sorry, in, in, in Matthew 18, it tells you how to deal with your brother. You go directly to him. And if that brother doesn't hear you, then what? Then you take it to the elders. OK. Take it to the church. Now. Like I said, this society, you don't have that. 
You don't have any structure. So that's ultimately why we need the kingdom. Okay. Because there's no resolving of issues amongst you, you people, man. All right. Everyone is just out for themselves, man. Everyone is just killing each other. So anyway, um, I'll end up on that. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Shalom.